I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I do care, but like for the sake of this next joke, I don't even care, you know? I don't care. I don't have what it takes to be a great anything. Because while great people are at home practicing their greatness, I am at home playing chess on my telephone. And it's not my fault, though. It's because of the Queen's Gambit. The show came out, chess sales soared across the world, which is weird because the show is about a little girl who's addicted to pills. And <laughs> everyone just sort of glossed over that plot point for some reason. Oh, spoiler alert, at the end of episode one, a nine-year-old girl downs a bucket of prescription medication. You're telling me everyone watching just went, <sighs> we should get a chessboard. <laughs> yeah, I've never had that. I've never had that, like that chutzpah, whatever that is, you know, because my very first job, my very first job, story time, my very first job, I was, um, hi, hi there, my very first job, I was a paper boy. That's right. That's interesting because nowadays, Paperboy is kind of fading away. You know, now instead of Paperboys, you have these pop-up paywalls. You know, if you're checking out an article, and they'll go, doo-doo. if you'd like to keep reading about war, famine, death, and destruction, please insert your credit card information below. And you're like, yes, please. <laughs> but back in the early 2000s, a 12-year-old child would personally deliver that little bundle of anxiety and depression conveniently to your front door. <laughs> And the reason I wanted to be a paper boy was because it seemed like such a cushy job on the movies, right? The kid would just ride his bike, he'd chuck the paper, it hit the door, and the old guy would be like, thanks, folk kid. I'd be like, you're welcome, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> but that is a Hollywood myth. In the real world, I have to walk it up to the stoop like an animal. <laughs> Probably a good time to tell you, I was a very lazy child. <laughs> Thankfully, I've outgrown that. I am no longer a child. <laughs> Here's how lazy it was. It, was a, it wasn't like I had to walk all around my town. It wasn't some massive paper. It was just around my block. <laughs> all I needed to do was take a walk around the block. That's not even exercise. That's what old people do for fun. <laughs> One block, four streets. If I walk down two of those streets, technically, I'm already on my way home. <laughs> it was too much. Sometimes I wouldn't even do it. I'd wake up and be like, no, not today. And I'd deliver it after school. Yeah, that's when you want your morning paper, isn't it? In the afternoon. <laughs> you have to understand, too, this was the early 2000s. This was before social media or online news was prevalent. If I didn't deliver your paper, that was it. You were clueless. I was the information superhighway. <laughs> and I was under repair. <laughs> People would complain. They'd call my boss, my boss would call me. He'd be like, Matt, I was told the paper was not delivered today. And I'd be like, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, that is true. You have very good sources, sir. And he was like, why not? Why wasn't it delivered? And I'd be like, um, you know what they say, no news is good news. <laughs> and he never laughed at that. <laughs> and he was always so professional with me. He's like, what are we gonna do to remedy this situation, Matt? And I'm like, what are we gonna do to remedy? Even back then, I couldn't care less. I was like, oh, here's an idea, just off the top of my head. How about you don't use children as an integral part of your supply chain? You ever think about that? I was such a bad paper boy. And the worst part is I needed to collect. Yeah, after a month of not delivering the paper, I needed to show up at your house and demand payment. Can you imagine the audacity I must have had as a child? <laughs> imagine my poor customers. They're sitting in their living room. They see some chubby Mennonite kid waddling up their front lawn. They're probably like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Sheila, it's the folk boy. No, he doesn't have the paper. I think he wants money. <laughs> Hello? You know that service where you never get the thing you want and when you do, it's not on time? That ain't free. 